Okay, so this one asks us um, identify the following as an enantiomer or a diastereomer. Okay, are these enantiomers or diastereomers? Can you tell? Or should we be up? Can you tell? Okay, so let's look. So the first thing we have to do is look at the two stereocenters, right? So we see this one has a stereocenter, this one has a stereocenter. So there's a stereocenter there, there's a stereocenter there, there and there, okay? And they're in the same kind of layout, so that makes it really nice and easy to see, okay? So let's mark this, the first stereo center and compare it, okay? When we compare it, we see the methyl group is in the same place, the, the hydrogen is switched, the chlorine is switched, but the other group is also in the same place, okay? So that means that one of these is R and one of these is S, okay? We don't even have to figure that out to be able to do this problem, okay? Now let's look, so they're opposite at this point. Okay, let's look at this other stereocenter now. So we see methyl group's the same, the carboxylic acid's the same, hydrogen's the same, and this other group is the same. So those are both the same stereochemistry, okay? So what we find is one is the same and one is opposite, so what is that gonna be? Diastereomers. Diastereomers. So, So what you find is if they were both opposite, then they would be called an enantiomer, okay? And an enantiomer, of course, is a non-superimposable mirror image. Any questions on that one?